Good day everyone. Today I will show you how to multiply simple fractions by another simple fractions, simple fractions by mixed numbers, and mixed numbers by mixed numbers. First, let us discuss how to multiply simple fractions by another simple fractions. Let us have this example. We have 2 over 5 times 3 over 4. The first step in multiplying simple fractions by another simple fraction is multiply the numerators. And we have the numerators 2 and 3. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Then multiply the denominators. And we have the denominators 5 and 4. 5 times 4 is equal to 20. We have now 6 over 20. But 6 over 20 is not in simplest form. What should we do? To simplify 6 over 20, we need to divide the numerator 6 and the denominator 20 by their GCF. And what is the GCF of 6 and 20? That is 2. Now, 6 divided by 2 is 3. And 20 divided by 2 is 10. So our final answer will be 3 over 10. Next example is 5 over 8 times 3 or 2 over 3. Again, using the same step, multiply the numerators. We have 5 times 2 is equals to 10. And multiply the denominators. We have 8 times 3 is equals to 24. So we have 10 over 24. Again, 10 over 24 is not in simplest form. We need to divide the numerator 10 and the denominator 20 by their GCF. And the GCF is 2. So we have 10 divided by 2 is 5 and 24 divided by 2 is 12. Therefore, our final answer is 5 over 12. I hope everything is clear to you on how to multiply simple fractions by another simple fraction. Let us now proceed to on how to multiply simple fractions by mixed fractions. Let us consider this. We have 2 over 5 times 3 and 3 over 4. Now, to multiply simple fractions by mixed numbers or mixed fractions, we need to change first the mixed fractions into improper fractions. How are we going to do that? To do that, we just simply multiply the denominator by the whole number and add the product to the numerator. So we have 4 times 3 is 12 plus 3 is equals to 15. 15 will be the numerator while n4 will be the denominator. Just copy the denominator. Then multiply it by 2 over 5. So we have 2 over 5 times 15 over 4. We can now multiply the numerators, we have 2 times 15 will give you 30. And then multiply the denominators, we have 5 times 4 will give you 20. So our answer is 30 over 20. Again, we need to simplify 30 over 20 by dividing the numerator 30 and the denominator 20 by their GCF and their GCF is 10. So we have 30 divided by 10 is 3 and 20 divided by 10 is 2. The answer will be 3 over 2. But we have an agreement children. Every time your answer is an improper fraction, you need to change it into mixed number or mixed fraction. And what is 3 over 2 in mixed fraction? That will be 1 and 1 over 2. I hope everything is clear to you on how to multiply simple fractions by mixed fractions. Let us now go with the last one, which is 
multiplying mixed fractions by mixed fraction. Let us have this example. We have 2 and 1 over 5 times 1 and 3 over 4. As you see, both factors are mixed number. So the first step is we need to change them into improper fraction. How are we going to do that? Just simply multiply the denominators or denominator by the whole number and add the product to the numerator. We have now 5 times 2 plus 1 is equals to 11. 11 is your numerator and just copy the denominator 5. So you will have 11 over 5. Let's do now. Let us now change 1 and 3 fourths or 1 and 3 over 4 into improper fraction. Again, 4 times 1 is equals to 4 plus 3 is equals now to 7. So the numerator is 7 and then copy the denominator 4. So we have 2 and 1 over 5 which is equals to 11 over 5 and 1 and 3 over 4 4 which is equals to 7 over 4. We can now multiply them. So we have now 7 times 11 or 11 times 7 then multiply also the denominators 5 and 4. 11 times 7 is equals to 77 and 5 times 4 is equals to 20. Now, 77 over 20 is already in lowest term, but we had an agreement that every time your answer is an improper fraction, you need to change it into mixed number. How are we going to do that? To do that, we just simply divide the numerator 77 by the denominator 20. So we have 77 divided by 20. How many 20? How many 20s can we get from 77? That is 3. Then multiply 3 by 20 will give you 60. Then subtract 77 by 60. You will have 70. Your quotient will be your full number that is 3 your <coughs> I'm sorry <coughs> remainder which is 17 that will be now your numerator and your divisor that is 20 that will be now your denominator so our final answer is 3 and 17 over 20 okay I hope everything is clear to you on how to multiply simple fractions and mix fraction or mix number. If you have any questions regarding our lesson, just call me, chat me, or text me so I can assist you with your studies. Goodbye children, until next time.